ride test number three for Eclipse Suzuki Bandit 600 came in running issues on the carburetors balanced it once still had an issue changed spark plugs and we've rebalanced it again still had running issues thought to be vacuum from the tank it's come back in has had a flush of the tank now the issues were it was pulling through the box fine until it had got warm and then once it got warm it was cutting power hit about 3000 rpm and all hell would break loose and it would pop the front end in the air so just taking this out one more time obviously road conditions are very very wet it has just literally had torrential rain so we'll be taking it a little bit easy on this ride test for the first part but so far normal riding conditions at normal throttle speeds it is fine so we're obviously just going to get the bike warmed up and see what happens once we've got a warm engine and we're up at speed running around about 50 to 60 mile an hour which means I will have to get a bit of dual carriageway mileage in on this and obviously with the road conditions extremely wet I am going to take my time on this one but so far pulling through the gears nicely low torque band very good and even just winding off the throttle there's no pops and bangs now from that exhaust so possibly a little bit of overfueling going on Revs down very, very nicely now. Tick over is very, very good on this as well. I would suggest adjusting the idle up just slightly on this one until it's warm. We're just waiting for the traffic to clear on this. sat still in traffic, still idling very very nicely Working away through the box on this. And there's a lot of torque now coming off that back wheel. A lot more power than it used to have. Hell of a lot more power. So before it was getting to about 3,000, all hell breaking loose. Whereas now it's idling very, very nicely. holding a steady 4,000 so it is actually pulling past the 3,000 without all hell breaking loose obviously just being aware of these very wet conditions those tyres are exceedingly cold a little bit of skitter off the back end going through the corners but nothing that can't be handled just laying that power on 
pops and bangs are back again so he's rolling off the throttle very very well and time to just get in a bit of dual carriage way and just uh, see if we can get it up to around about 60 hold a steady speed and see what she's like and laying on the power one more time Absolutely perfect. Not having the previous issues that I had before when I rode it, and obviously the last two ride tests were abandoned. Engine braking is a lot better now as well. Coming down through the box, the engine braking is actually holding the bike better. of standing water hell of a lot of standing water and just fold it up onto the dual carriageway and we're going to go for a full ball run 7000 rpm rev changes up into top gear Holding 55 and just apply a bit of power, 70 mile an hour road. And there is oodles of power on this machine. Jesus. There's a hell of a lot more torque off this back end than it had last time. It does launch the bike. So holding a steady 60, just shifting to the outside lane. One more straight line and we'll give it another burst of power. And there is Oh, oodles of torque there on that back end. So holding a nice steady 70 now, 65, 70. There's no holding back on this. And one quick blip. Yep, there is power there. Just bringing it down on the engine braking, rev matching down. Zero issues. Very happy with the performance of the bike. I'm going to do one more run down the dual carriageway just to prove the point. So obviously this has been in with a senior diagnostic technician on this one. Sounds a hell of a lot better than what it did. I'd be surprised with the amount of people who don't know which lane of a roundabout to take. So full now into the lane that I need, where I'm going to be hooking the outside lane. A quick shoulder check in. It's still flipping fine. In third gear, and I notice I've got a six speed box, so I've got three to play with. Four. I'm going to dial the power in as we come off the corner. And away we go. Five. Six. 70 mile an hour, holding it at 65, road conditions are bad, but bike is holding its own, no skitter from the rear now, tyres are up to speed, and nicely warm now, and one final burst, is holding fine. 30.65 Rain is starting to come down hard Absolutely zero issues No misfires from the bike 
and I've still got power under the throttle to just blip it from 65 to 70. And we're 6.8 miles in on the run. One more blip, 70. And bring it down again, 65. That is blipping up to 70, no problem, no issues at all. That can is burbling away behind me. One more. I'm going to bring it back down to around about 55. And on this last bit of straight, just bury the throttle one more time. So holding steady 55. Last bit of quarter mile straight and up to 70. Absolutely no problem whatsoever getting itself up to speed. So Suzuki Bandit ride test, almost completed. One very, very wet rev bomb. Rev matching down. That so reminds me of my Kawasaki and that's just stalled on me. My own fault. Taking it easy, right? <laughs> oh, waterlogged. But I've got a lot of power band to play with on this. Hell of a lot of power band. Just bringing her in. I am going to suggest the idle be brought up slightly. It is idling very, very low. Around about 800, I'd like to see this around about 1200. So, job for senior tech just to bring the idle up for me a little bit. But the balancing on the carbs, absolutely superb. Going to be one happy customer that collects this bike. Obviously, I am very, very wet now. And we're 8.3 miles in of a 10 mile ride test. Happily making my way back to the garage. Very happy with the ride test on this Suzuki Bandit. And another job done for the guys at Eclipse Motorcycles. Carb balance, club clean, and fuel tank clean out as well, that is it complete mic apart about three or four times trying to find the issue with it, finally found, job done. <laughs>